Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some more pickups to share with you guys and I have a whole lot of stuff to share this time. Uh, I've been buying a lot of stuff lately. I had been working for a couple weeks uh, straight, uh, 11 hour days. And uh, now that I've had a little bit of time off, I thought, you know what, go, uh, uh, go to the thrift stores and go look for stuff. So first up I have some comic books I want to share with you guys. Uh, I got these at Buy and Sell Kings, so they were, if I remember correctly, they were 50 cents each, but I've forgotten at this point. Uh, first up is Blue Beetle number 4. Uh, I'm not too certain what volume this is, but I'm going to assume maybe volume 1 or 2. Uh, next is Blue Beetle number 10. I'm just going to put those down there for now. Uh, Blue Beetle number 11 and uh, Blue Beetle number 17 right there and yeah it does say five dollars on it but at uh, Buy and Sell Kings uh, all their comic books are just in uh, comic book boxes uh, and they're all either 50 cents a piece or four for a dollar or something like that that's just escaping my mind right now uh, now next up on another uh, day I went to the Value Village that I usually go to and I saw that they changed their pricing scheme on books uh, so now it's more according to the price of the individual book rather than uh, if it's a uh, children's book or a romance novel or whatever uh, it is uh, but I got this here it's the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror fun filled fright fest uh for 2.99 and it's just a uh well like a halloween themed uh simpsons comic book with a bunch of different uh stories in there uh with different art styles and different themes uh but for 2.99 i thought that was a pretty decent deal um the same day that i got that i also got this book here i paid 5.99 for this uh, according to their new pricing scheme, uh, that's how much it should go for now. Uh, Canadian price for this was $22.99 originally. It is the Pokemon X and Pokemon Y uh, official Kalos region guidebook. It still came with a dust cover, but it did not have the um, map or sleeve or whatever it is that originally came with it. Uh, but it's still in great condition, and I already have a copy of this, so I will try to uh, trade that for something else to add to the collection. Uh, moving on from that, I went to the Salvation Army that I usually go to, and I hadn't been to the Salvation Army in quite some time. And I'm looking around, and I find this in the area where they started pricing uh, new stuff that was getting ready to put out. Uh, they had just priced this. It was $5.99 for this Lego Star Wars set. And uh, it is a set that features the droid escape pod uh, and then the Jawas capturing uh, C-3PO and R2-D2. And I looked this up and like the retail price for this was like $30, $40, something like that. Uh, and I double checked and it was still sealed uh, and all the uh, bags are still in there with everything. Uh, so $5.99 for this I thought was definitely a decent deal. And uh, typically in the past, uh, Lego uh, construction sets like this that I've purchased have been uh, of the sort of Star Wars variety uh, rather than anything else. Usually with Lego, uh, I'll get either just generic blocks or uh, Star Wars sets. Moving on from there, there's a bunch of games that I got. I got these uh, games here from Buy and Sell Kings. Uh, their PS1 games are usually very fairly priced. Of course, the really rare or valuable uh, games are priced high, of course, uh, but they have a lot of like random nonsense games for $2-$3. Uh, I got these four because they seem somewhat interesting. First one here is Burst Trick Wakeboarding.
that was just a dollar next one is c12 final resistance and this one was 3.99 Uh, next game is Trag Tactical Rescue Assault Group. And I think there's a subtitle or, oh, Mission of Mercy is what it's called. And I think that this is some kind of an action uh, shooter, uh, like third person shooter kind of game. Uh, and the last one here is Invasion from Beyond. But yeah, those are the games that I got from Buy and Sell Kings. And now the last two games I want to show you guys. Uh, first game here I got from uh, Game Center on the day fourth. It is a copy of The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. I saw that this finally dropped in price to a point that I'd be willing to pay for it. Uh, so I got this for 20 bucks brand new and I've been trying to play through it uh, but I've only gotten through the first like sort of section of the game uh, and then I put it down to start playing more Pokemon. Um, and then I also got another game that I ha had pre-ordered from Amazon that I completely forgot about. Uh, it's Digimon World Next Order. I got this for like 20 or 30% off of the regular retail price and it came with some extra DLC and a digital soundtrack as well. Uh, very happy that more and more Digimon games are actually coming out in North America now um, and hopefully I can get some time to play this soon. Uh, but that's all that I got. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, just put it in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. Uh, they're all linked in the description below and also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest. Check that out as well if you'd like. And that's it. See ya.